Fortnite squad. How godly would that be though? Come on, think about it. <laughs> he would never agree to this. Are dinosaurs coming to Fortnite? Because Velocity and Raptor seem to be hinting at the rift beacons have been placed. And where are they, you may be asking. Like I mentioned in the very last Fort Lore, Moisty Palms is coming and there is in fact a rift beacon on top of Paradise Palms. It's going to be Moisty Palms, of course. We don't know if Moisty is going to merge with Paradise and it's just going to be a mashup of the two. Or it's just going to be Moisty taking over completely. And another location that a rift beacon has been placed on to this time is actually Greasy Grove. Pretty obviously Greasy Grove is going to be returning in some way, shape or form. Better to see how that is going to work. And yeah, who's hype? Version 10.20.2. Hotfix adjustments. Fortnite themselves just released some balance changes. And they are pretty good. I'll pretty much just summarize it really quickly. They vaulted the combat shotgun. Thank goodness I was actually going to talk about the combat shotgun. How overpowered it was in today's video by showing you this image on the screen. <laughs> Basically showcasing how overpowered it is of a shotgun. But I don't need to talk about that anymore. The drum shotgun also vaulted along with the proximity launcher. I don't think anyone's complaining about any of these vaults whatsoever. Well, probably some people are mixed on the combat shotgun. Here's what Tifu had to say about it. Clearly, he's pretty excited. <laughs> but here's what Nick Merckx had to say. He seems like he's upset. Definitely pissed that it's gone. I mean, it was an easy to use weapon. I think I'm going to have to side with Tifu on this one. Should have got rid of it. When they got rid of the other John Wick weapon. Whatever it was called, I kind of forgot. But you get the point. Where do you lie with the combat being vaulted? Do you like it? Do you not? Let me know. They unvaulted the suppressed assault rifle. Of course, the suppressed scar. And the automatic sniper. Increasing the damage from 31, 33, 35 to 40, 42, 44. The automatic sniper is definitely a good weapon. And uh, yeah, just welcoming it back. Welcome back to the game. Lower the spawn rate of brute adjustments. That... Uh, yeah. There's a lot of, you know, stuff here about it, but um, that's pretty much about it. Peppers increase the duration of spiciness <laughs> to a 60 second duration from 20 seconds. You'll have an extra speed boost for 60 seconds now instead of 20. And Retail Road, they pretty much reduced the number of obelisks. Increase the chance to drop rocket launchers and jump pads. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Very good hotfix. What are your thoughts on this? All right, today we actually have a ton of leaks. A lot of stuff got leaked. Things that probably won't even come out for another season. I don't know how they do this. But anyways, an unreleased POI ID called Demeter and another castle called Princess Castle. They are both work in progress, but I think both of them are related to this POI in the loading screen. This loading screen I actually talked about like maybe like 54 lores ago. <laughs> it's been quite a while. It's been quite a while for sure. But anyways, also there's a female love ranger statue next to the Pleasant Park Castle. So who knows? This is obviously referring to the female love ranger statue that's inside haunted hills i believe but i guess it's i guess it's facing pleasant park or something like that well anyways whatever it seems like some sort of castle is supposed to be coming and that's the one in this loading screen that was actually shown in season seven that's quite interesting and somebody actually ended up bringing up the capoeira mode capoeira mode i don't know how to pronounce it but yeah no here we go Dance in the face of danger with the new Capera remote. I'm just going to call it Capera, okay? Leave me alone. And obviously, this, uh, we talked about this a long time ago, but in the background, you can see a castle, seemingly. And whatever season that was, I don't remember if it was season five, six, seven, whatever. But in the battle pass, there was a spray called Crazy Castle. I'm bringing it back. Crazy Castle, ladies and gentlemen, it is coming. <laughs> Actually, I mean, I don't know if it's coming, but, you know, Crazy Castle, we paired it up. And obviously, it seemingly matched the shape of it, even though you can't really see it because it's in the background, it is blurred out. But that's just what it looks like. And 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 since this season, this crazy castle spray, this this castle had nothing to do with anything. It was just a random spray that had nothing to do with anything whatsoever. It was really off throwing because the spray is usually they have something to do with the season that they're in. But this one, I feel like, is one of the only ones that that just was completely random and had nothing to do with anything. So. Crazy Castle, could it be coming back? Is it this fall from grace in this loading screen? Was this POI supposed to come earlier and they decided to wait or something like that? Possibly. Crazy Castle, come back. Whoa, this was a tweet from Ali A. For those who don't know, Ali A is a really, really small YouTuber with about three subscribers. You don't know who he is, not a chance. But anyways, notice anything new. 
I forwarded this image to my huge team. They were working on it for the past 24 hours, and what they found is that if you look closely enough, Allier is not ready. Allier, all you have to do is press the play button. It's not that difficult. Hypex and Silo X, they went insane with all the skin leaks. I don't even know how they do this, but obviously they just somehow found all these unreleased skins in the files. There's so many of them, and I'm gonna show you a couple here. I mean, just take a look. These are code names, obviously, like Lion, Freak, Bat. Obviously, we're not gonna really make much out of it. These are the skins that are 90% confirmed to be released in season 10 slash 11. Dark Power Cord, Dark Raptor, Slurp Creature, so some sort of Slurp Juice deity monster. I don't know, who knows? Squid Kid, Submariner, Gangster Monster. Okay, <laughs> maybe some sort of remix of the Moisty Maya creature where he's just full on John Wick, who knows? Underwater, I can't really make anything out of that. Voxel Jonesy, is this the Minecraft collab coming? Wraith, female, Skull Trooper Neon, Pale Spooky Female. Interesting, I suppose. <laughs> Interesting code names. And then here we got the confirmed Cata skin. Apparently there is supposed to be, or there was supposed to be a Cata skin. Maybe it's coming. Maybe they were starting to work on it. Maybe it's scrapped. Who knows? Visitor skin remix. Athena Commando M. Meteor Man remix. So possibly for this season, we're going to see the... Okay, obviously Meteor Man means visitor, of course. And for this season, we're most likely going to be seeing this because this is very relevant to the season. Wouldn't doubt it. And then here are some Halloween skins. Possible Halloween Season 11 skins. I don't know how they could be for Season 11. Skull Trooper Neon. Halloween Gold Trooper. Huddle Team Dark. The Dark One. And then we got three more here. The Modern Witch. Pale Spooky. And Gangster Monster. Might be for Halloween. Who knows? There's also charms. Charms that you can put on your weapons. I believe they're called Battle Bling in the files somewhere. Anyways, Leak Charms. Virus. Dragon Ice. Heart Locket. Disco Ball. Island Map. Party on Fire, Teamwork, Dragon Fire Season Levels, and Llama Island. Some of them say S10. It seems like some of them were actually supposed to be part of the Battle Pass, but they're holding off on the charms, probably for Season 11. And of course, it shows some challenges in the files as well. You actually get some of these charms, you revive teammates, and oh snap, you gotta search Supply Llamas. This is not a good challenge. <laughs> Visit certain POIs, stuff like that easy and i believe that's about it for the skins and stuff all right that's going to do it for the news today hope you enjoyed since you made it this far into the video might as well leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video peace I hope you guys do enjoy this video. As always, if you guys are new to my channel and don't know what I do, I keep you guys up to date with everything regarding foreign news. And with season 10 about to end, season 11 starting, a ton of events happening. You guys won't be disappointed by subscribing. I would love to have you on this channel as well. And with all that said, let's get right into the video. Alrighty guys, so speaking of season 11 starring, that means season 10 is about to end. I need you guys to let me know down below in the comments real quick. If you could rate season 10 on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst and 10 being the best, what would you rate it? I would love to know your thoughts on this and I'm generally interested in what you guys think. There's a lot of controversial parts about this season. A lot of people left it, a lot of people joined it. I want to know your thoughts on this like I said, but now let's get right into the first piece of information and that's going to be, as you guys probably or may not know this, that we are down to one more challenge set for this season and we we already know the name of that, and it's called the Last Stop Challenge Set. Keep that in mind, Last Stop. And we have the loading screen for what it's going to look like. As you guys can see on screen right now, here's what it is. You can see it's like the bus is going away from the people and they're waving at it saying thank you or everything like that. And the description or the caption for this loading screen, it says, thank you, comma, bus driver. So in a few seconds, I'm about to blow your mind, but real quick, keep this in mind. Every single weekly challenge set that we've gotten throughout the season, it actually corresponds with the storyline that we have right now, and it adds on, adds on, and adds on to it. So if this says, the last stop, and it says, thank you, bus driver, that means that something is going to be happening regarding the storyline, and then here's where it all adds up. In the trailer that we got at the beginning of the season, the first day, you can see the bus is actually in that trailer, as well as after that is a ton of stuff that got vaulted, unvaulted, and everything like that i'm gonna explain the whole entire trailer but first off i want you guys to watch it again to get some more context 
So now let's break down this trailer real quick. Jonesy goes into the orb. You can see there's a, there's the bus at the top left of the screen. That means the bus is going in this place, and then it's going to be leaving that place, and it's going to be ending up where they are. The rocket event. If you guys don't know, there's going to be a huge rocket event at the end of the season. I'm going to put a video that I made on it on screen right now, or down below in the description. If you're done watching this video, go check it out. Then he sees the tech SMG. The tech SMG is in the game right now. It got unvolted. Then the next thing he sees is just some skins from season eight. Now we're not really not really that important that much. Next thing he sees is the tomato temple building which is actually in the spawn island for this season next thing he sees is skull trooper that's been coming back for halloween the kevin the cube island which is in the game right now and the butterfly event those files got updated so there's possibly going to be a brand new event happening the next thing he sees is the gift box and the whole christmas theme that's actually not in the game right now it went into the vault the snowman whatever everything like that let's skip a little bit he sees the skin that is in the season 10 battle pass another skin that's in the season 10 battle pass some more christmas stuff which is in the vault the boom box which is in the vault again and basically the rest of the trailer isn't that important but we gotta wait till the end you can see that peely goes towards like the back he's going in one direction jonesy going in the other direction and you can see there was a ball there that means the vault that means they could be getting unvaulted or vaulted that's how it actually happens and it's unstable right now because of all the energy happening and the main reason why i want to show you guys that in the first place is because there was no coincidence that the bus driver was in there so that means the bus driver went in one place and then he went out of the other place and where they came out is the brand new map for season 11. And out of all this stuff adding up, there's actually leak locations in game that I'm going to read out to you guys real quick. So these are the leak locations that we have right now. Angry Apple, Beachy Bluffs, Camp Cod, Dirty Docks, Frenzy Farm, Holly Hedges, Lazy Lakes, Mountain Meadows, Power Plant, Slurpee Swamp, Sunny Shores, and Weeping Woods. And as you guys can probably tell, these locations sound very similar to the ones we have in game right now, or the ones we had in previous seasons. So it just makes sense that we're either getting a brand new map, or that the map is going to be changing basically the whole entire thing. And with all that said, that is all the information I have for you guys in this video. Once we get more, I'll be one of the first people to keep you guys up to date. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for that. Drop a like on this video if I showed you any new stuff you possibly didn't know before. Let me know down below in the comment section if you haven't already your rate on Season 10. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would love to know. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. You won't be disappointed. I would love to have you on this channel as well. Have a great spectacular rest of your day or night. I'll talk to you guys either in a couple hours or tomorrow with a couple brand new uploads. And I cannot wait to see you guys there. Don't click clickbaited. Peace out.